We are going to be shaving our faces today. Actually, I'm just gonna shave my face and talk to you about how I do it. I have been doing this for so long. I learned this from Nuberexo. I bit the bullet. I have been doing it ever since. My hair has not grown back thicker. Hair on the face for women is typically vellus, which means it's like a thin kind of peach fuzzy type of hair. And honestly, if hair grew back thicker, don't you think all of those bald men out there would be shaving their scalps and growing back all of their hair? Mm. When you shave the hair, you're actually cutting it at the base of the hair follicle, which is the thickest part, and that creates a blunt edge. So when it grows out, that blunt edge is grown out as well. So rather than it tapering, naturally as hair does, and it looks thicker. However, if you have any hormonal abnormalities or other issues I cannot speak to, then I would just maybe do a patch test or maybe don't do it at all. Consider threading or waxing because that will maintain the fact that your hair will grow back to a tapered point and continue to look as thin. You'll find links to the products that I'm using in this video in the description box below. It costs you nothing extra and it helps to support my channel, as you know. In the beginning. Wash your face. I like to use a little bit of a moisturizing toner. I'll sit around with it for a little bit, let it seep into my skin. One thing you'll notice is that I use my finger a lot to pull my skin taut so that I can shave and get a close shave, but also to just diminish the chances of me cutting myself. Go very slow if you're not used to doing this. I've done this for years. I would recommend going in with a really soft touch. I sometimes do like a bit of a like flicking motion like that, but it's so gentle, a waving movement that I do. It just helps so that I don't graze the skin too roughly because you can get razor burn doing this. I don't do this with my skin wet if that's what you guys are wondering. That's why I make sure that my skin is somewhat moisturized and that the moisturizer is seeped in before I get into the shaving. Every once in a while I do switch. I do reuse them. However, I would recommend disinfecting them between uses. Just clean it after you finish. You can use some 70% rubbing alcohol or some hydrogen peroxide. Make sure that it's nice and clean before you use it. You don't want to get an infection. Be very careful around the eyes. One trick that I've found that has helped me a lot is I put my finger anywhere I don't want to shave. Like if I shave my eyebrow by accident, it's not a pretty look. I'm not going to be able to pencil it in right because I have thick brows. So I'll put my finger there to block myself from cutting that piece of hair that I don't want to cut. And when it comes to going around the hairline, you want to be careful. It can look really freaking crazy if you cut off all of your baby hair. I have a very full dark hair and it's very obvious if I botch my hairline, right? And my hairline is naturally uneven. I don't like to F with that. I just like leave that thing alone. Listen, one of the benefits of having fantastic thick hair and thick brows, you know this if you're Portuguese, Iberian descent, I'm Latina. If you have Middle Eastern in your background, you may or may not be a person who struggles with very thick hair everywhere. It's okay. You don't have to do this. It's something I like to do because I find that it helps my skincare penetrate more evenly. It's not only removing Bella's hair, but it's also removing dead skin cells and I'm helping my skin cells turn over more quickly. I happen to really like the way that my makeup looks. A couple of days after, makeup goes on so smoothly. The following days, you might notice that your skin gets a little bit more oily. And by the way, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you're still watching right now, you better hit the subscribe button because I post videos all the time about womanly things and growing up and self-care and a little bit of beauty and decluttering so subscribe typically I like to pluck my um, like over the lip because I do have a little bit of hair there and I'll pluck between my eyebrows the unibrow which is not really a full unibrow but I have like a few sparse hairs that come out that are a little bit thick I typically pluck those out and then I'll go over with this to just make sure it's clean because some hairs are difficult to pull out with the tweezers and I try to do the same with my like 
over my lip but sometimes I will just shave it because it's faster and the hair is really thin anyway so you can't really tell I like to do my jawline as well and I notice I get a little bit of peach fuzz underneath my chin all of this hair is absolutely normal it is normal for you to have hair on your body if you're watching this as a young person don't feel insecure about it it is what it is we're human and we grow hair some people might be like oh my god you're perpetuating the patriarchy Meh. like i like the way this looks i like the way it feels it's your choice it's your body don't let anyone boss you around that's it that's all basketball this one is from the face shop which you can't find in montreal anymore maybe you can order it online my next step uh, was to rinse my face which i did now we're ready to moisturize this is from Lirac, it's their Intense Rehydrating Balm. Ideally use something that doesn't have fragrance. This has a bit, but I know for certain it doesn't irritate me, but I would recommend something like the La Roche-Posay Lipicare would be really good for this step, especially if you have sensitive skin. Ugh, I feel like so refreshed. You will notice that your skin will feel a bit more oily over the next day and a half. Do this when you know you're not gonna be wearing a lot of makeup for the next couple of days. That's what I do. And I just, I do this once every two weeks. Not a long process at all. And it's really easy. I wonder if people who go to this, um, not the salon, but like the cosmetic clinic, when they get dermaplaning, does their hair grow back? appearing thicker i don't know like let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to the spa or something for dermaplaning i'm really curious hope you guys found this video helpful that's my skin up close on the internet i'm 36 be kind <laughs> i'm not a little young spring chicken anymore